Hey guys, welcome to the and today's topic is the thyroid lymphoma and thyroid papillary carcinoma. Sorry, I forgot to write uh, carcinoma. Um, this is a very important topic for you. Well, step 3 and USMD step 2 CK. So, just I will be discussing briefly about this. I'm not going to tell you about the details about this disease, uh, the important points with regards to USMD. Regarding thyroid lymphoma, Suspected in any patients with a long-standing Hashimoto's th thyroiditis with rapidly enlarging gland and a firm and population palpation. Remember this: they will give a history, and the patient is suffering from Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and he's taking and he's on the treatment. Uh, then elderly men and developing such an enlarged gland, firm and palp palpation. Just think of thyroid lymphoma. Okay, so how do you manage? Like other uh, thyroid carcinoma, we treat it by the surgery. But this thyroid lymphoma we treat it by we manage it by the radiation and the chemotherapy. These are the two points you need to remember. A long standing patient of Hashimoto's thyroid is presenting with the enlarged rapidly enlarging gland, form and palpation uh, um, and management is the radiation and the chemotherapy. Very important point. Okay. Then uh, papillary thyroid carcinoma. Very important papillary thyroid carcinoma is the most common type of Thyroid carcinoma you can see most common in females spreads while lymphatics and the treatment is surgery that's it so if they give the history of thyroid carcinoma in a female and they ask you the most common cause for that um, they ask you diagnosis just first think of that like thyroid carcinoma because this is very very common okay uh, among the other uh, thyroid carcinoma uh, the treatment is surgery just we need to do the surgery that's it thank you so much for watching my video Please let me know how do you feel about this by clicking liking, commenting and subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. Thank you so much.